Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you that do not know me or have not seen any of my previous videos, my name is Julie. I am literally just posting a handful of vlogs. So today I'm going to show you how you can conveniently pack a seven day trip into a carry-on because if any of you out there are like me, I hate packing suitcases. I hate checking bags. I hate waiting at the baggage claim. I literally just want my stuff with me wherever I go because then I know exactly where it's at. Right above me in the overhead compartment, you know? So check it out. We're gonna see what I packed. I don't know why I did this. The size of my carry-on is this right here. It does not have wheels. Um, it just has an over-the-shoulder strap here and so I try not to make it too heavy because I've done it in the past before and it does get irritating after a while if you're carrying your entire life. I am going somewhere warm so it's gonna be really easy because the clothing is not as heavy it's a lot thinner the materials a lot thinner and easy to pack away in a small situation which is this so here we go notice that there are no compartments in here so there's nothing, no little zipper compartments here, nothing. It's literally one big bag. I like it because it is kind of one of those things where you can just toss everything in there, but you also have the option to throw your own pockets in there. For example, I have a bunch of little bags like this, so that way I can kind of make my own pockets for certain items just to keep it separated from everything else. Because obviously if you're gonna throw all your shampoo, conditioner, sunglasses, everything in the bin, it's gonna be a lot harder to filter through and find what you're actually looking for. So <laughs> this little bag in particular is what I'm gonna put some of my toiletries in. Again, because it's a very small size, so I hate putting small things in bigger bags. It's just a waste of a big bag. So let's start with my toiletries. I will say toothpaste has not been purchased yet. I typically get the little travel size toothpaste. Again, I'm only staying for seven days and then you can always buy toothpaste at whatever location you're at. Every place sells toothpaste, so it's okay. When I go to hotels, I always take their shampoos and their conditioners, always, because it's the perfect travel size. It gets you through a couple days at least and again, you can always pick up extra if need be. But what I do, I hope none of the hotels are watching this, but when they put these in the room, I take them and I store them in my bag. That way when they do room service, they bring me a couple more. So then I've got one for the road. I don't know, you pay enough for a hotel that they kind of owe you this, okay? But these are great. So I have shampoo, conditioner. This one even came with a little bar of soap and this will literally last me probably seven days. But, and it's a beta. Great stuff. I also got a body lotion. It gets very dry on the plane, so even if it's not dry where you're at, I hate the feeling of when you're on a plane, your skin is dry, your hands are dry, so it's kind of convenient to have something small enough just to take out as necessary. I would get something that is very light for those people that do not like or are sensitive to smells. Seriously, the entire plane, all the vents, fam, mm -mm, forget about it. So I'd recommend either a lightly scented or an unscented lotion. Plus it's better for your skin. Ain't nobody got time for all the chemicals like getting into the pores. So a tiny baby face wash. Ooh, ironically enough, it does say for oily skin, which is my exact skin type. I have very fine hair and so I need, I need a little bit of volume. So. I always get one of these guys. It's just a little tiny travel size. I got this at Target. There's always little toiletry travel sections. It was under two bucks, but absolutely worth it. My hair thanks me. I did pick up some Kleenex fresh on the go wipes. This I primarily use after I get off the plane. I'll go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, cleanse my face. They're, oh, I can't even. So I'm excited about these. I also got these in the airplane section at Target for under two bucks. Savings. I started doing this recently when I started flying abroad overseas where I'd be on the plane for a long period of time. 
you know, resting my head, touching the tray, the handles, the remote, everything. Um, I'm not like a huge germaphobe, but the amount of germs on an airplane and the bacteria and all that because of being closed space, no open windows, you get the idea. I take wet ones with me nearly every time if not every time these days. So I'm wiping down the remotes, TV screens, I'm wiping down the armrests. Anything that I can wipe down with a towelette, I'm wiping down with a towelette. And it kills 99.99% of the germs, so I'm thinking there's still that 0.01%. So then I take another one and I wipe it down one more time just to be sure. I did have a couple weird stares when I did it on the way to France and I'm not really sure why he was staring at me funny because I'm just trying to disinfect to protect. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> anyway, I have like pasty white Midwestern skin that is about to be exposed to very warm weather, complete polar opposite. So I'm a huge advocate for sunblock and I get like the sport waterproof stays on for eight hours. Um, so. So I got the SPF 30, seriously, you get sunburned and it ruins your whole trip. Something as simple as a hair brush. I don't really like to brush my hair, but it's nice to have the option. So again, I take this little bag here and I'm just going to put all of these items in for storage. forgot one very important thing and this goes out to the females unless there are males that get chronic nosebleeds always a good idea to bring some tampons so, oh crap I'm on the plane I just started I'm not gonna go around asking everybody unless I have to if they have a tampon so I just bring two just to be safe it's got little drawstrings just like that and then you can store it in your bag so it's not gonna be flying everywhere so very convenient I don't do much with jewelry. I've brought it to cities and countries in the past and I never wore it. Yeah. So my accessories are not jewelry, but sunglasses. These are my beach sunglasses. It's just sometimes some shades look better and more cohesive with the clothes that I'm wearing. I love them and I think that they would add a lot to a photo that I post on Instagram. They're bright. It blends with the territory. Aviators, right? These go with everything. These are my accessories. I gotta have them. So I always pack them. Because I'm going somewhere warm, let's talk about the swimsuits, am I right? When you go to a tropical location, I include swimsuits as part of your wardrobe. I have a few swimsuits here and I won't go too in depth. I love this swimsuit. I just got this. This was actually an emergency purchase. I thought it was different. These are where my hips that don't lie sit. Pretty exciting. They definitely don't lie in them. Like they want to squeeze themselves out, but it's all good. And the top, because my boobs are the size of a 13 year old, so there's really nothing to it. And the best part is, it doesn't even look scandalous on me because like I said, I got a rack that quits. So, this right here, I actually got from Victoria's Secret. This is gonna be really great if I do any snorkeling or any form of scuba diving whatsoever because it has like a sports bra build. So it looks like this in the front, but in the back, it's got a little clasp and it's like a little sports bra. So it's very, it's very secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. Nothing is gonna go anywhere. So, knowing your surroundings. That's why I like to bring just a couple of them because you know you never know what type of swimming or what type of water activity you're gonna do, so it's good to have options. Lastly, I am bringing, this is a Triangle brand. Uh, I'm sure that 98% of you know exactly what the Triangle brand is. What's really cool about this brand is it's actually scuba wear. Like the material is the same as a scuba suit. So very awesome. Uh, I really, really like the swimsuit. My love handles don't by any means, but I do. 
It is strapless, so again, I wouldn't do anything that's too meh, because meh, something might happen. Things might be seen. I have a little swimsuit bag. It is a material that is waterproof too, so if my swimsuits are wet, I can toss them right in here without it uh, dampening the rest of my items. So that's really great too, and they fit real easy. And with the drawstring, boom. So, so easy. So again, amongst my clothes, we're gonna have my toiletries, we're gonna have my swimsuits. So let's move into my makeup bag. I don't wear that much makeup as it is. In my bag, I do have a couple of brushes. So I have the all over face powder brush. I've got my angled blush brush, my beauty blender. So I use my beauty blender with my BB cream. It's basically equivalent to a tinted moisturizer. This is erase paste because I'm old and I need it. Obviously, mascara and all fits in this tiny little bag right here. You can snap the little sides just for compacting it just a little bit more. So pretty great because we're trying to downsize, right? We're traveling. Next on the agenda are shoes. So first of all, you're gonna need a pair of shoes that you can walk around in. So you just need a shoe for exploring. Obviously you want a pair of sandals, something that you can just kind of lounge around in, make short trips in, uh, go to the beach in. So these are my little Adidas slides and they are so incredibly comfortable. If I wanna class it up just a little bit, obviously I'm gonna bring a pair of classier sandals. They look like this. Every shoe that you bring, just make sure it's comfortable. It's a good idea to bring tennis shoes. Not only that, you can use them for the running and the jogging, but you can also use them for hiking, trekking, um, things along that nature, more outdoorsy activities. Really great to have a pair of tennis shoes. Try to look at what the largest shoe is that you're packing and wear that on the plane. That way it'll also save you a lot of space inside your suitcase. So just a little tip for you right there. That means I might have to be wearing my tennis shoes on the plane, which is no problem because I take my shoes off on the plane anyway because I'm trying to make myself comfortable. So those are my shoes, nothing crazy. I do plan on bringing workout clothes. So I've got a pair of cross training tights. They are very compactable. I've got a pair of running specific pants. No matter how hot it is in an area, I will always wear leggings. I don't do shorts, I don't do capris, I will always wear the long, full-length leggings. And where you have leggings, you have sports bras. They all look like this. They are very, they're medium support. I have a couple different colors. I've got the red, I've got the blue, a little bit of stripes, a little bit of excitement right here. So I'm just bringing three sports bras. On the opposite end of workout clothes, I love to wear dresses. It's an all-inclusive outfit. This right here is, well, it's a dress. You can use it as a dress for going out or you can use it as a swimsuit cover-up. I primarily will use it as a swimsuit cover-up. It is very lightweight material. If you get ocean all over it, no problem. It'll dry in like 20 minutes. So this is just another dress. Again, dressing for your destination. This is absolutely gonna fit in with my surroundings. Very flowy, very airy, really great for hot weather. And then you guys, the flowers don't quit. This is a romper. I love rompers because they're shorts. And if it gets wet, it gets dry just as fast. Skirts. I always pick colors that are versatile enough where you can wear the skirt with several different tank tops or shirts because they're very basic colors. So you can wear it multiple times, which is gonna save you space in packing multiple pairs of pants. I also have a green one. This green one has pockets. It is a full length skirt. And then of course, it's always a good idea to pack a couple tank tops because again, they're also really small pieces and really easy to compact uh, in your suitcase. And of course, the basic white tank top, which I can also be tucking in there. You can also put little light t-shirts underneath them. And then this one is the same. The material, I wish you guys could feel it through the camera. It is so soft. Uh, you have to double things up, but at the same time make them look different. So you get to be a little bit creative, which is always fun. And then always, 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 
when you travel on an airplane, it's always so cold. So always bring a sweater on the plane because sometimes they give you blankets and sometimes they absolutely don't give you blankets and then you freeze. So bring a sweater, bring a sweater. And then of course, during sunnier days, you gotta have a hat because this, well, you can wear it to the beach obviously, but it also could be very trendy. I went to Chile last year and I did not bring a neck pillow. And no matter how many pillows they gave me, it just didn't do the trick. So this right here is a neck pillow that I bought for a very decent price. It's got a little snap right down here, but you guys, this makes all the difference in the world. So after getting back from Chile, I was like, I'm gonna buy me one of these and I'm gonna be happy with my purchase. In fact, it may be the best purchase I've ever made. And so when I booked my flight to France, I'm like, all right, I got my neck pillow, guys. We are good. I do not need to be sitting in first class to enjoy first class living. Am I right? Because this thing is great. Anyways, um, I forgot it. I left it at home. I left it at home. Dang it. And they only could offer me one pillow and a blanket. I even wanted another blanket just to like create the who and nothing. So this time around, the night before, I'm going to put this on my carry-on bag, snap it on just like this. Can't forget the neck pillow. This is serious. So this will probably be like the heaviest item that I have, but I'm gonna bring this. And of course, when you bring your laptop, you have to bring your power cord. There really are no compartments in this either. It's another like, hobo bag where it's just got open space. I will be storing my computer in there along with my computer because these are things that will sit below my feet. I'm also going to store my book. Uh, it'll help, especially if there's no good movies or you don't have TVs on the plane in general. So I'm gonna to toss that into my purse. Headphones, don't forget your headphones. I forgot my headphones one time and I had to pay $32 for a new pair of headphones. And you don't wanna hear the guy next to you snoring like a freight train because that's happened way too many times. I can toss it in that little tiny pocket. It's always nice to know where everything is. This is the wallet that I usually travel with. I like that it was bright red, so I could not lose it. A couple different compartments here. Space for your uh, passport right here. And if you look on the side here, your credit cards, debit cards, your ID, and then of course your cash you can hold in there as well. So it's all together. You have to have your boarding pass and your ID ready. You just take out the whole unit. So it just fits all nicely just like that in there. So I have two very open bags that work very conveniently to store mass amounts of stuff. So then I'm not carrying a big suitcase. I'm literally carrying a little carry-on and my purse and that's it. And it's awesome. I pack light. Always have, probably always will. It's amazing that when you go on a trip and think about this next time, but go through your suitcase when you get home and count the amount of items that you took on your trip but never touched. And then that way, the next time you travel, take those items that you never use out. No matter how much you're like, well, I might use it this time, you're not gonna use it. You're just not gonna use it, okay? Just be honest with yourself. You'll thank yourself. You've seen everything that I'm bringing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it away, zip it up, and we can wrap this thing up, am I right? If you guys have any other tips and tricks on how to pack light, travel light, obviously let me know in the comments below because I am no expert and I'm always looking for new ways to be smart. Thank you so much for watching, tuning in, etc. If you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, shame on you.
and I'm sorry for shaming you, so retract, but go ahead, hit the subscribe button below, or at least a like. I know you liked it a little bit. Just like my video, please. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Hmm, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, go ahead, subscribe. Just don't even think about it, just do it. It's right there though. Do you see it? Right down there? I know you're looking at it, just beep. That's not the noise it makes. More like bloop or click. Go ahead, just do it right quick, like a Band-Aid, rip it off. I gotta get ready, because I gotta go for a run, because someone's gotta look good in a bikini, am I right? So thanks again, I will see you guys later. Bye.